What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of iFishLI. Today, it's a pretty rainy day, uh, not doing any fishing today, just chilling around the house, so I thought it was a good day to do the Mystery Tackle Box unboxing. This is the August 2020 Inchor Box. Um, I already took a look inside. Some pretty cool baits, most stuff I haven't used before. So, let's get this thing opened up. There we go. Um, all right, so pull out the stuff that's not lures first. Um, so we got the dibble tips and tricks. We got this awesome sticker. Probably throw it on my laptop or something. My laptop's covered in mystery tackle box and catch co stickers. So then we got the what's inside. Just tells you all the prices on all the baits. So starting out, uh, one dollar eighty cents. Must add extra wide gap hooks. This is for a um, a lure that it, it fits perfectly on one of the lures in the box. It's a four out, two two hooks in here. Must add hooks. You can't go wrong. Next up is big bites baits, curly tail jointed. Jerk minnow. So this is a really interesting lure. I feel like these, some of these lures are more um, better for fishing in Florida. Um, I'll take one of these out of the package. This is like it looks like like a watermelon color. Uh, pretty small. Really, really different. It's got the jointed like I don't even know which side is up. All right, yeah, that's probably right. It's got a like, jointed thing, so it probably has nice, really wiggling action. Really, really a lot of action back here. I feel like I could I would definitely be good throwing down in Florida. I've never, I fished once in Florida when I was much younger, but I really, really want to get down there. So maybe over the winter when all this uh, COVID stuff slows down, hopefully I can get down there to film some videos. I, I look. Florida fishing is like my favorite thing to watch on YouTube. Some of my favorite YouTubers are from Florida, just fishing in the mangroves. That's like my dream. Um, next up, high tide jig. This is just a little quarter ounce jig head. Probably throw it on the last um, thing. It's got a pretty small hook on there. It would probably fit the uh, big bites baits pretty well. Uh, skip it under some docks, stuff like that. Under the mangroves. Your typical jig head got a nice eye on there. And that was that's four dollars. And the big bite base was three ninety nine. After this, this one, I really, really like the look of it. Z Man Swimmers. So I've n never fished with Z Man paddle tails before. I've got some other stuff from Mystery Tackle Bags box of z-man but these just look so so good and i really like the color of them it's like a wine color um it's got the alaz tech so it's super stretchy super durable what i love about z-man's is you could fish one soft plastic all day and not have to switch it um so this probably go pretty well on the the mustad hook or even on the jig head. Definitely see myself catching some stripers on this uh, later in the fall or in the in the spring next year. Or I'll definitely bring it down to Florida if I ever get down there. And last but not least, oh those were six ninety nine. Dude, look how stretchy these are. So, so durable. And last but not least, the Live Target Hybrid Shrimp at fifteen, uh, fourteen forty nine. This thing just looks so realistic. Holy crap. Alright, so this is interesting. Alright, they really, 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 Live Target always really, really pays attention to the details. So, 
first off, we'll start from the head and move back. It's got it's like real antennas. Its eyes are like popping off like that. It's just so realistic. And then this is interesting. It's got a um, two like a double hook, not trebles. Maybe um, the treble got hooked up on like the front of the bait too much, so they switch it to a double hook instead. They really just think of everything when they're when they're making these baits. So much pay they pay so much attention to detail. Um, and then like the little legs, they're like soft plastic, so they're gonna be making action in the water. Um, it's got a little rattle, and then on the back, it's got a nice treble. And these trebles are not low quality. You really don't need to switch them out. I'd like to see how this looks in the water. It's probably like, I don't know, let's see if it says anything on it. Um, right. It's probably like a slow sinking thing and just jerk it along. Dart. I think I could definitely cast this around in some, uh, like some pier lights, slam a striper. A weak fish. We'll see. Maybe I'll give it a go. Um, Mystery Tackle Box really never fails to um, give me something that's like different I've never seen before. Um, I haven't fished with any of these baits. I've seen other YouTubers down in Florida fish with these and Maybe I almost want to buy them myself, but now I get to test them from the Mystery Tackle Box. So like I've said in all the other videos, Mystery Tackle Box just provides you with baits that you wouldn't normally get. So it gives you the chance to test like yourself as an angler and just learn new techniques. So And it also just builds up your arsenal of baits. So in case something's working, you just have, you have it in your bag or in your car. Um, so definitely... The bait I'm most excited about using in this box is this one right here, the Z-Man Paddle Tail. And this is just, this is like basically like a work of art. It's so cool. Um, Alright, so that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys want to see me fish with some of these baits, try and do a Mystery Tackle Box Slam, comment down below. If I get like five comments, people saying me to do it, do it I'll make a video on it. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe. I do videos like this monthly and also post tons of other cool videos, so check those out. Turn the notification bell on. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.